Hello everybody and welcome on board this Hanson 301 for a look around her cockpit and interior in glorious virtual reality and glorious rain thanks to the English weather but that doesn't stop us and don't let that get between us. So uh, it's a virtual reality video so you should be able to click and drag or swipe your screen up and down left or right and look around where you like when you like and uh, this will give you an idea of what the boat's like and a feel for what she's like before you even think about coming to see her. But if you just want to see around a really nice Hanson 301 this may be the video to watch. I will move the camera. Uh, some people are sensitive to that movement, if that may be you. When I let you know the camera's going to be moved, please avert your eyes and I'll let you know when the camera's safely back down so you can return to us. But let's hope that doesn't happen. So here we are in the cockpit. As you can see, I'm kneeled in the middle because the seats are all wet, but uh, really nice looking teak, very nicely cleaned up and looking good. We've got uh, reasonably high combings here. I don't think we have dodges on this boat, so we've got a really good view around the uh, the sea, if we're at sea or the marina here, and uh, feeling really connected with the outside. We have a nice size locker here with the uh, two gas bottles in and more stowage, a massive great big lazarette at the back end of the cockpit, all sorts of bits and pieces in there. And as you can see, we've got an adjustable backstay and we have got uh, tiller steering with an extension and the engine throttle just down to the helm's uh, port hand or left hand side. Lovely great big um, sugar scoop stern on this boat so it could be good could be good for getting in and out of the boat uh, for swimming possibly retrieving man overboards being careful of the propeller etc um, but there is a nice ladder there as well to help you out on that journey really really lovely uh, self-draining cockpit we have the uh, the mast sorry the uh, the main sheet track here so the helm can uh, stand here do the helming operate the engine and uh, do the uh, the main sheet as well and within reach also we've got the twin self-tailing uh, sheets as well so I think that most controls can be done by the helm here on his or her own uh, if you've got friends but even if you're uh, auto piloting also we've got the instruments up forwards just above the companionway and we have lines led aft and halyard winches on the coach roof there too so really really well thought out very nice and clean this boat is looks great we have a bilge pump access here and we have engine start stop there so really if you're a lone sailor or if you're short-handed um, this is a really really nice cockpit to use I really think it's great lovely great big cleats attached to the tow rails here as well and uh, the kind of tow rails that you can attach uh, anything to from uh, from halyards and shackles all that kind of stuff really great but let's uh <coughs> Excuse me, let's take, pick you up and take you out of the weather down below where it's a little bit more convivial away from the storm that's uh, been hitting us for the last uh, few days. What I'll do is I'll just place you there. Uh, it's probably not the best place in the world, but let's start you off there. So coming down the companionway, nice and easy as you just came saw me come down. Um, you're sitting on the engine box on a shelf, which is fiddled, which is great. As we come down, we have a couple of steps. We can take the front of the engine box off, good access to the beautifully clean looking engine inside with hardly any hours on it, essentially a new engine. We have access on the, on the starboard side of the engine box as well for more access to the engine and there's a stern part to uh, or an after part that comes away to to give you access to gearbox, back of the engine, that kind of thing in the after accommodation there, really, really good. And once you're down here, there's lots to hold on to as we make our way around the boat. We're fiddled, we have a handhold here, we've got the compression post here, so we're not too much space down here to get lost and uh, with nothing to hold on to, which is great. And as you do come down here, you think, actually, what a nice area this is. It's lovely and clean, it looks really new, really, in, in lots of parts. Nice, bright headlining. Uh, the moulding is bright, the wood is nice and it's not dark, it's nice wood, it looks in good nick as well. The flooring is bright, it looks like bright wood and we've got uh, bright moulding there too. So all in all, feeling great down here, light, bright and airy, helped by uh, one, two, three, four windows, plus an opening window over the galley, really, really nice, especially with the companionway open as well. Very nice place to be. So let's, uh, let's pick you up, and what I'll do first, before we go to the main accommodation, is I'm going to take you through this hole here, this great big aperture, place you there. Now you're in what many people would call the after cabin, of course it's not actually a cabin because there's no door here, but it's a crawl through or a squat through, and you're into the after accommodation, and as you can see, it goes to full distance athwart ships, port to starboard, and it's nice and long, so I think most people will sleep in there in comfort. It's a double plenty of room for two people and at this end i think there's room for people with a couple of pillows to sit and read the book we've got the the lamp up here for that purpose we have the autopilot sitting on the fiddled shelf up there as well nicely finished off inside and a little bit more headroom here and obviously this is the the molding on the inside of the molding very uh, excuse me the inside of the molding for the uh, for the cockpit itself very good indeed and down here is a socket so you can charge your phones when you're in bed and uh, you'll find there are uh, one or two sockets around the boat which is lovely great let's pick you up from there 
and bring you out into the boat's galley. There you are, so you're perching on the edge and you can see we have uh, twin burners here. We have a cooker here, nice and clean, gimbaled as well as it should be on a yacht. We have a fridge under this area here and uh, at the after section, of course you can see we've got the sink, a couple of nice big uh, lockers underneath, a bit of chopping space to the starboard side and a lovely great big fiddle shelf behind and a light shining down on the whole thing which is going to be really good and useful at night or in storms etc. And an opening window above which is going to help to let out any cooking fumes as well. Uh, another drawer inside the cooker, that completes the kind of almost L-shaped galley. Really Really great location, very conventional location because we can pass everything up and we can receive it all back down, whether it be food or dirty plates, bowls, that kind of thing. Really lovely. I think you like, uh, you think, I think you know I like this boat. Just notice as well, we've got uh, handholds all the way along the port and starboard sides as well. So as we're making our way forwards at 40 degrees, uh, we've got something to hang on to all the way forward to the compression post when you can grab that. Lovely, hey? Right then, let's pick you up. We'll, we'll just move you slightly forwards, and you're now sitting on the saloon table. Height test. I'm five foot nine. There I am, just touching the roof. Maybe not quite. Five foot nine, five foot ten. There comes down a little bit to the sides. Four windows. Light, lovely looking wood. Nice upholstery. Nice, uh, nice uh, flooring or decking, whatever you'd like to call it. Two forty volt socket. Bilge pump access. Really, really lovely. We have a, a, a fold down nav station here, so uh, that's in the corner. That could be your uh, sideboard for the evening. Drawers underneath, uh, we've got the electrics panel and the VHFs just uh, snuggling in the middle there. And uh, either side of the uh, saloon sofas, we've got a couple of nice lockers, fiddle shelf above, and you can see where the standing rigging comes through too, which I really like. So we've got the chain plates coming through and uh, visible and accessible which I think is really important on a boat and it gives us that feeling of being on a boat which is great. Um, both of the berths, the, the, the back seat comes down and the uh, moves up, that's like so and as you can see that gives us a lovely great big berth there, much wider than the, uh, than the sofa would be with just a cushion in place. Let me just put the uh, the uh, cushion, that cushion back in place. There we go. So that's on both sides. So that's going to make it nice and uh, comfy for your crew or whoever's staying out over. Um, a nice big saloon table as well with a with a, a fold up uh, leaf. So uh, plenty of room for probably four to six people to sit and eat there in comfort. I think how lovely it is. Lovely down here. Okay, let's pick you up and take you to through to the forward cabin. So a little bit of a sideways shuffle through the door there. We have to come down a tiny bit because the the bulkhead above me lowers there we go but once you're in for, for this size of boat we've got a really lovely little bit of uh, changing space here so we've got a bit of a lobby we also have two lockers here for hanging uh, with shelves above and uh, a fiddle shelf all the way around the edge of the compartment and fit finished off really well with wood I think so uh, really like it and again very very nice and clean the upholster is good we've got storage up front underneath the berth Bits of storage underneath and uh, I think it's a fresh water tank under here and a hatch as well for light and ventilation. So a nice area with a light etc etc. Very nice area. Right then let's pull you out of here. So pick you up again and we'll withdraw into the saloon and I'll take you to the last compartment on this boat which is the heads. There we go. I'll, just, uh, I'll stick you in the corner there just because it's so a convenient shelf next to the sink. And as you can see nice and easy to get in and out. Uh, decent standing headroom. And if you're sitting on the toilet, you'll be uh, facing starboard, kind of aft a little way. We have an opening window here, always useful in a head or shower compartment. A nice fiddle shelf outboard, manual head there, uh, that's the electrical isolator down there. And we've got a, a sink in the corner with running water and stowage underneath. All nice and clean, nicely radiused, easy to keep clean. And uh, yeah, it is really clean. I wish all heads on all boats were this clean, probably myself, my own boats included. But uh, yeah, really good. Does what it says on the tin and uh, useful for crew at sea and alongside. Fantastic. Okay, let's pick you up and we'll just take you back into the saloon where I'll just sum up by sit down and being very comfortable and pleased to be on this boat and say thanks for watching. This has been Tim from Boatshed Drop Brokers taking you for a virtual reality tour around this lovely Hansa 301. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've got to feel what, what it's like to be on this boat without actually being here. Go to our Boatshed Yacht Brokers. YouTube channel where you'll find literally uh, I think over a hundred or close to a hundred videos of all the other popular boats that people like to look at and buy and uh, if you uh, if you want to see more virtual reality videos that's the place to go everything from the tiniest fishing boat to the biggest gin palaces in Brighton thanks for watching take care we hope to see you again soon bye bye